Hi, St. Matthews. I'm here in front of my home altar and I have two stories to read to you for our Monday of Holy Week reflection together. The first one is the Palm Sunday story. Jesus enters Jerusalem. Jesus and his disciples were on their way to Jerusalem. When they reached Bethphage on the Mount of Olives, which was only a short distance from the city, Jesus sent two of his followers into the village. You will find a donkey with its colt tethered to a doorway, he said. Untie the young donkey and bring it here. If anyone tries to stop you, say, the Lord has need of it, and they will let you go in peace. The disciples did as Jesus told them, returning with the little colt. They put their cloaks on its back to act as a saddle. It had never been ridden before, but with Jesus, it was docile and obedient. And so the Son of God rode into Jerusalem on a donkey. When the people saw him coming, they covered the road with their garments and cut palm leaves and laid them in his path. Crowds gathered before him and behind him, singing and shouting his praises to the sky. Blessed is he, the son of David. Blessed is he who is coming in the name of the Lord. Peace in heaven and glory in the highest. As Jesus drew nearer to Jerusalem, he wept, for he knew that soon great troubles would come to Jerusalem. Jesus and his followers passed through the gate into the city and made their way toward the temple. The people of Jerusalem stared to see such a procession. Who is this man? They asked. Why is he being honored in this way? That is Jesus, the others replied. He is the great prophet from Nazareth in Galilee. Jesus and the Temple Traders. Jesus went to the temple in Jerusalem. Its courtyards were a marketplace with people buying and selling, changing money, and haggling over the price of cattle. In a fury, Jesus threw over the tables of the money changers so that the coins poured on the ground and drove out the traders with their oxen and sheep. The house of God is a house of prayer, he thundered, but you have turned it into a den of thieves. Once the temple had been cleared, people came to Jesus to be healed. But when some of the chief priests and the teachers of the law saw the eager crowd surrounding him, and when they heard the children singing, Hosanna to the son of David, they were uneasy. Do you know what these children are saying? They asked him. Yes, Jesus replied. Have you never read the scriptures that say it is innocent children who praise God most sweetly? Then Jesus left for Bethany, where he stayed the night returning the next day with his disciples to begin teaching in the temple. Many chief priests and teachers of the law were waiting for him. Who gave you permission to teach here? They demanded. Jesus replied, I will ask you one question, and if you can answer it, then I will tell you by whose authority I am here. The question is this, was it God or was it men who gave John the right to baptize? The priests were puzzled. If we say God gave him the right, Jesus will ask, then why did you not believe him? And if we say it was men, then the people will turn against us and stone us, for they look on John as a prophet. So they said to Jesus, we cannot tell. And Jesus said, then neither can I tell you by whose authority I am here. The word of the Lord. Now I have some reflection questions for you. The first one is, I wonder what part of these stories stood out to you most. I wonder what part of the story you think is most important. I wonder if you see yourself in these stories. Do you see any connections between our world and these stories? I'll see you on Tuesday with some more stories for our journey through Holy Week.